The ACC's Technical Advisory Service is starting to receive calls about the removal and replacement procedures for the high-pressure injector pump on the VW and Audi turbo diesel V6 engines from 2010 onwards. This is due to the differences in design from the earlier engines and if the correct procedure is not followed, it can quickly turn into an engine out and apart job. The first generation of Volkswagen 3.0-litre V6 TDI engines entered production in 2005. From 2010 onwards, a second generation of this engine was released, with CRCA being one of the more common engine identification codes found in the Volkswagen Touareg and Audi Q7. The high pressure injector pumps can be damaged by poor fuel quality and incorrect service procedures. A common cause of failed pumps comes from technicians not bleeding the fuel system correctly after a fuel filter replacement. If the engine is wound over without being bled correctly, the high pressure fuel pump could run dry and be damaged. To avoid this situation, you must follow the correct fuel system bleeding and priming procedures, which requires the use of a compatible scan tool. The high pressure injector pump in the second generation engines can be removed with the engine and transmission still in the car if you follow the correct procedure. If the correct procedure is not followed and the high pressure pump is removed, the pump sprocket will drop a few millimetres. The chain tensioner will then take up the slack on the auxiliary chain. This tensioner has a ratchet that cannot be released to recenter the pump sprocket on the mounting hole. This will prevent you from refitting the high pressure pump. To rectify this situation, you will have to remove the timing cover, which will require either the engine or transmission to be removed from the vehicle. Also, it is not uncommon for the copper injector washers to fail and combustion gases to leak into the crankcase. These engines have small vents machined into the cylinder head from the injector hole to the outside of the engine. If the washer fails, it will start venting out of this hole, which is just above the exhaust ports for each cylinder. It is recommended to have a look at these at each service, and if you see a strange looking oil leak from these holes, it might be time for a set of injector washers. For the correct procedure to remove the high pressure injector pump and injectors from this engine family, see the May 2021 issue of Tech Talk. Log on to Motortech or call the ACC's Technical Advisory Service.